Probably one of the most, I wouldn't say coolest, because I know I'm not the coolest person in life, which is simply true. I might not be the purplest human alive. I might not be the best villain alive. And I most certainly won't be the most fit in my life. But I do know somebody who's in the Marvel Studios Avengers Infinity War. They have a book, and the book we're introducing today is this. <sighs> Sorry. I'm really tired today. You know, it's a Monday. Mondays really aren't good for me. So, I, why not bring a new rating series? Because I feel like rating videos don't let me down. Rating videos seem to be the... Rating videos seem to be like the only videos that I can do without getting deleted. So, it's... Marvel, uh, Thanos, Titan, Consumed, New York Times best-selling author, Barry Lega, 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 I didn't say the n-word, I said this, Lega, or Lega, 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 or something, I don't know exactly how that, how that is, but, the back says, in an instant, the universe will change. Crime on Titan was nearly non-existent. There was no such thing as capital punishment and no facility that could hold someone of Thanos' strength and intelligence. So the people of Titan decided on the most direct solution, exile. Not exile from an external city, no, exile from the planet. And so that age at which Titans usually ventured, ventured, ventured out into their great society to discover themselves and their individual destinies. Their nose was cast not into the world, but rather from it. Outcast, warlord, warlord, savior, Thanos. I don't know, guys. I got this book last year in my school. They had like three books you could get, and so I got this book which I don't know the price which I'm not gonna say what the price is but like what's this up <laughs> sorry um okay so it, it it is a pretty long chapter for chapter one but it really ain't long for chapter one so I mean Let's actually just read chapter one now. I would assume we can do that. Chapter one, I snapped my fingers and I, I rift my in myself alone with my past. My present there is there is sheer existence of me as at once a weighty and weightless thing. Time's not an arrow or a line or any other convenient metaphor. Time is not an abstract notion. Time is a stone. With the stone, all history is open to me. I am in history. I am history. I witness it and relieve it and experience it in the same quantum instant. For the first time in years, I behold the orange swaddled orb that is Titan. From a distance, from a distance of thousands of kilometers, the planet looks the same as when I left, with no indication. As the havoc, as the, ha the havoc that lurks beneath the haze. And then it's years later, and my force wage combat against her majesty, Cathar's troops aboard the ex crew's body spill into the into space as the Lefanons or something, what the freak made for a second for a second attack run, and now course Korath tells Ronan. Oh, I know Ronan. He's like the one in Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay. Thanos is the most powerful being in the universe, and Roman the full response not anymore. Unmoored, un yeah, moored from the present, observing without inter 
and turn facing. I watch my life and my certain teeth as they play out. I am the foregone conclusion to my own prophecy. Craft's warning has come true, and now I am now I am now I truly am the most powerful being in the universe, receiving all reality from the vantage point of ultimate power. Not much more than a boy, I tilt the glass to my lips. The liquid within is green, bubbly and too sweet tasting of melon and elderberries and el and elfo el elfo alcohol. I am a child and my father tells me your mother went in the moment she laid eyes on you. This your mother went m mad the moment she lays, uh, laid eyes on you. There is a softness to his voice, noticed only in retrospect, with and adult eyes laid upon the childish past. This changes nothing. Everything is done. Everything will be done. Years later, my ship launches from the surface of Titan, bearing me into the unknown. I tell myself that everything I know lurks beneath the haze, and then I tell myself that it doesn't matter. Swaddled into the verdant energies of the time stone, my mind travels deep, tra traverses deep, Decades as the speed of thought, spinning the jewel of my life from back to facet, facet or something. I don't know. I'm gonna be popping up the pages because, like, I don't know if you can understand it or not. You'll die there, Titan says, about loss, choking on his own blood and Cabby's poison. You'll die in the glory that is Asgard. I watch paralyzed and helpless as Gomorrah swings her battle staff and Dacon and Dracon Wait, Dacon or is it Dracon? Rope Draco rope posters and threatens on my view screen and my other and the other speaks to me. And the wreckage of I'm gonna I'm just gonna shorten it Chitta or Chitta? Or some I don't know the stuff is on the screen staging base humans there are not the cowering witches we were promised they stand there are unruly and therefore cannot be ruled to challenge them is to court death I am striding though the bodies of as guardians the death remains of the one pro Proud civilization as Ebony Mall proselytizes to the few who still live. I don't know if I'm saying these. I'm beating the Hulk nearly to death and hurrying Gamora from the cliff on Vormor, 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 and then years previous, a voice, the voice of my only friend. You're a coward, Thanos. You're a coward. You hide beneath the ship behind the other and the. Chedera, Chedera. I'm gonna say Chedera. And now behind those girls, years leapfrog one another, spurning ahead in an instant. And I am aboard sanctuary. The proud of doors and to my vault slide open, and the gauntlet glimmers there in a half light, not quite gold. I've seen this moment before. I've lived it. It is happening for the first time, the second time, the millionth time. I reach for it. Fine, I say. I'll and that's all truth is a mistress harsher than death and that's how chapter one ended I don't know boy like I'll continue to read this and I'm sorry if I don't make any you know if I do make a lot of mistakes that's just what I do with reading some books I read, I make mistakes. Not always. You know I make mistakes. So, thank you for watching today's reading video of a new series. I have no idea. I mean, I have not that many good expectations for this, because first, it's a Thanos book. I mean, it's, it's Thanos. He's a cool guy, but I don't know where he would get a book out of it. But you know what? Thanos in a book would be pretty cool, so I don't know. My expectations just for the book itself, it's in the middle for me. I don't know if I'll like it. I hope I will, but that doesn't mean I will. So thank you for listening to Chapter 1 of Thanos.
Titan consumed. Um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna continue Beverly right here because I feel like you know we already started some of it. I'm gonna start, you know, finish it now. It's been going on for about three months, I think. Almost. Well, it's been going on for two months. So maybe close to three months. I don't know. So thank you for watching. And if you want to have a shout out on my next video, all you have to do is go onto my Instagram in the description down below and follow me there. And I will see you tomorrow, guys. Maybe tonight reading Beverly right here because that seems to be the only book that I read that actually makes sense, you know? So, thank you for watching today's video. If you are new, please subscribe and turn the post notification on for all. Thank you.